The other day on MSNBC, Republican Wisconsin State Senator Glenn Grothman called the protesters slobs because the Capitol building they'd been occupying quote-unquote smells bad and he'd be embarrassed to take his kids in there. Yeah, that's the funny thing, Senator, about protesting the dismantling of our society by the greedy and the fake tanned. It hardly ever seems to happen near a 24-hour dry cleaner. It's almost never in someone's living room over wine and cheese with your shoes off so as not to sully the carpet or the labradoodle. What Glenn Grothman doesn't understand and likely can never understand is that those people are there because what they're protesting for is a little more important than a daily shower with fragrant shower gel and a strict flossing regimen and, and an even stricter policy of not wearing the same shirt-hat combination more than once a month. And it's even more important than, wait for it, money. Because many of them are not out there because their job is on the line. They're out there because their neighbors' and cousins' jobs are on the line. Slobs? By your definition, you know who else are slobs? The soldiers in World War II. I heard they slept in the mud. The astronauts. I hear they almost never shower or have a Swedish dry skin treatment for as much as a month at a time. The Freedom Riders. I heard they bled on each other without bathing. The only reason they got cleaned off was because considerate people like you, Senator, saw that they were slobs and turned fire hoses on them. In fact, I'd go as far as to say that almost everything great and noble and impassioned that has ever happened in this country has happened while sweaty. People rescuing each other in New Orleans, sweaty, MLK during his I Have a Dream speech, grimy from marching, JFK while banging Marilyn Monroe, sticky, George W. Bush forging his way through my pet goat despite obstacles as immense as an attack on this country, covered in flop sweat. Quick, Senator Grothman, grab a sham wow and some OxyClean. The people of Wisconsin are spilling their blood, sweat, sweat and tears to try to salvage this democracy from your hypocrisy. Don't let your kids get a glimpse of it.